In fourth grade, I showed up to strings class late and I sat beside my friend and my teacher told me to play bass. From there, I stuck with it. I went to an arts high school, now I go to McGill. I'm in jazz performance, and when I uh, started in first year as a hobby, I decided to start making beats. I generally will start with a melody, and from there build around that. I find it hard to, to collaborate with others. Um, I like just being by myself and doing it when it's like the most fun. Being in different cities always, I guess, influences me to make different music. Kind of like, while we're still learning about stuff, uh, and like, I guess you're always learning about it. It's a never-ending uh, quest. But um, I don't know, at this point in my growth, I think it's important to kind of replicate different uh, people who you think are good or emulate them, and I find when I, where, whatever city I'm in, I look out for who the best producers are, beat makers, and I try and like, get, get something from their sound and incorporate into my music. Well, when Augie has his beats bumping, I can definitely not make my own music while that's going on, because it's, it's, the fire is coming out of his bedroom, so I need to take a break. Well, I started playing piano when I was quite young. My mom was a piano teacher, so the whole family got to learn from her, but I started playing saxophone when I was 10 years old. I love to play jazz, but it's hard to make a living out of that, so I do a lot of hip-hop, a lot of pop recording for saxophone, also some classical and soul stuff, so it, it all changes throughout each genre, but for jazz, by creative process, it's, it's a lot of listening. I, uh, I wake up every morning, I listen to probably two records, front to back, just to get ideas into my head, to hear the, the music that I've been listening to always and trying to sound like, so uh, I do a lot of that, and then usually I'll practice a little bit every day, just to keep my technique up, but uh, it's mostly listening for uh, the saxophone creative process. When I moved to Montreal when I was 18, I definitely was in a little square box and I only uh, listened to really jazz music and so coming here I got a lot of experience listening to other genres I didn't particularly like but I found things I enjoyed in it so uh, I guess when the environments change like you just have to find things you enjoy in, in uh, the genres you might not like them but um, they definitely will sculpt it Montreal has changed a lot of my creative process for the good, for the bad, but it's always, I'll cherish my time here. It's nice always having someone who's a musician in your house, like you can always like ask them questions, especially when we play different instruments. It's, it's complete, it's, it's nice for like a bass player so I can ask some questions about certain things with bass, melodies or whatnot, or rhythm section parts. And we collaborate quite a bit. I play a lot of saxophone on his beats. He plays a little bit of bass. Yeah, that's nice. Because you can play sax on my beats. It's pretty cool. Mr. Saxo beat.
Augie's my, been my inspiration since uh, I met him in grade six at band camp. Since grade six of band camp, interprovincial music camp at uh, at Camp Manitou. Camp Manitou, yeah, that's it. We met at the classical program. We did classical music to start. Yeah, so we were, uh, but we ended up being jazz musicians, and now we're both in the hip hop. <laughs> both broke and make beats all day. <laughs> Trying to get it. <laughs> Drink a lot of Powerade, it really helps. Mm -hmm. 